Hello there, Michelle Short here for My Favourite Things. Today I'm creating a Miss You card featuring rainbow clouds. So I'm starting off by stamping my cute little bear here from the Partners in Adventure set. And I'm going to stamp him down onto some smooth white cardstock using extreme black ink. I'm using the extreme black ink because it works really nicely with alcohol markers. So I'm going to stamp him down onto the cardstock and then just to get a really nice dark impression I'm just going to double stamp him. And then I'm going to colour him in with Copic markers. So I'm using some brown shades for his body and I'm going in first with the E59 which is my darkest shade and I want the darkest shades to be sort of towards the bottom right hand corner. I do find that sometimes if you move the cardstock it's a little bit easier to colour. It just depends on how you personally kind of manoeuvre everything. So next I'm going in with the E57 and I'm blending that out, moving the colour towards the left hand side. Then I'm going in with the E55 and I'm blending those two colours together. I do find that sometimes they do need a little bit of work to blend them together but they do blend nicely in the end. And then I'm going to go in with the lightest shade which is the E53 and I do find with this colour sometimes it can make the browns look a little bit of a green shade and so I'm making sure not to kind of blend it out too much with that E55. And then I'm going to go in with the E50 to colour in the muzzle of the bear. And then R00 for the little ears and then E49 for the nose. I left colouring the balloon because I wasn't sure at this point what colour I actually wanted to colour it. And sometimes I find that if I add the image on top of my background, then I can figure out a little bit easier which colour I want it to be. So I've cut that out with the coordinating dynamics and then I'm going to create my background. So here I have a panel of white cardstock which is five and a half inches tall by three and three quarter inches wide. And I'm going to add my rainbow clouds onto this. So I'm using the cloud stencil, just using some low tack tape there just to hold that in place. And then I channeled my inner Laura Basson and thought I'd create some rainbow clouds today. Because the bear is quite neutral in colour, I think that the rainbow clouds work nicely. But because I'm also making this into more of a Miss You card, I thought that the rainbow colours would work nicely. I tend to find rainbows kind of a symbol of positivity and especially with what we're going through at the moment it's quite nice to send some cards to family and friends to let them know that you're thinking of them and that you're missing them so I started off with the picked raspberry color then I went to dried marigold next I used squeezed lemonade and now I'm going in with the twisted citron color I'm just turning that stencil as I go down the panel and then I am going to bring in my little image here just to make sure that the clouds are not going to go too far towards the bottom of the panel. I quite liked just having them at the top of the panel but I do think they would work really nicely and look very pretty having them all the way down the panel as well. That was the Mermaid Lagoon colour and then I'm going to finish off with the Wilted Violet colour. And as I blend this on, I somehow managed to get a little bit of ink into the yellow area on the clouds. So I'm going to try and cover that up a little bit later. I do want to add a little bit of water splatter to my panel. So I'm just placing that stencil down again, just to cover up the bottom of the cardstock. This cardstock is just plain cardstock. And so I'm not going to get a huge reaction with the water, with the Distress inks, but it does just add a little bit of extra interest onto the panel. So just picking up the water with the paintbrush and then I can just tap the paintbrush to splatter the water onto the panel. And then I can set that aside to dry. 
So now I figured out that I want the balloon to be aqua shades. I originally thought that maybe I would color it so that it kind of looked like it was transparent and that you would see the color of the clouds behind but I decided in the end that I really do love aqua and so aqua isn't featured in the rainbow so I thought it would look quite nice for the balloon. So I'm using BG15, BG13, BG11 and then BG10 and I'm just blending all of those colours out like I did with the bear's body. And I do go back in with some of the colours just to darken them up again if I've lightened them too much. Next I'm going to stamp my sentiment but because I'm stamping it directly onto that panel I want to make sure that I don't mess up at this point when I've spent so long creating those clouds. I want to make sure that my sentiment is going to be stamped straight and where I want it to be. So I'm taking the Miss You sentiment from the new Bitty Hugs and Kisses stamp set from the January release and I'm placing that down onto the acetate sheet or transparency sheet that I've added on top of the panel. I'm going to ink that up and stamp that onto the transparency and then I can figure out if I'm happy with that placement. As it turned out I wasn't so I just removed that ink and then moved the sentiment up a little bit and then once I'm happy with the placement I can remove that transparency and then I can stamp it down onto the panel. And like I say this just makes sure that I'm not going to mess up that panel. So I've stamped that down with the extreme black ink again and then I've added some foam tape onto the back of the panel and I'm going to adhere that down onto an A2 sized white card base. So that's a card base finish size of four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches and then I've added foam tape onto the little bear there and once I'm happy with the placement of him I can press him down. And then to finish off and to cover up that little bit of purple ink on the yellow cloud, I'm going to add some bubbles here. So I'm just using small dabs of the On Point Precision Glue, adding them onto the card panel here, and then I can place the embellishments on top. And like I said, that's gonna cover up that little boo-boo and then just add a little bit of extra interest and sparkle to the card as well. I think that bear is really cute flying in the sky. He's all alone and he's missing his friends and family, but there is some positivity with those rainbow clouds. The links to the products that I shared will be in the description bar here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.